there too. Oh my gosh, I can see Barton for the first time in a long, long time. Let's go! There's been so much anticipation building up about the San Blas Island since we arrived in Panama. It's almost hard to believe that we're finally here, and so far it's living up to its reputation, with beautiful sandy islands spread all over in the crystal clear water. It was definitely worth the wait to get here. The indigenous Guniala people live, maintain, and protect the area, with families living on most of the islands, even the small ones. Spear fishing along with scuba diving is banned across the San Blas Islands for cruisers and tourists, causing a lot of the reef around the islands to be unspoiled and crawling with life. With only the locals fishing, the pesca leon, known as the lionfish, is taking over. Soon after we hit the water, we see the most amount of lionfish we've probably ever seen in one area in a short amount of time. This invasive species population is out of control, and no spearing here have really caused them to infest the reef around. Most of the places in the reef that we look in where we would normally find grouper and snapper were filled by lionfish. The reef here is amazing. We haven't seen water with visibility this good in a long time. Definitely not anywhere else we've been in Panama. So far in Panama, once we get to about 30 feet deep, the water gets really murky. But here, it's still clear well after 50 feet. We have a ton of fun snorkeling around the surrounding reef, but the sun is going down and it's time to head back. With such beautiful islands sitting all around us, we hope we can explore some of the islands tomorrow. Today was amazing, sailing all the way here from Linton Bay and snorkeling some of the nearby reef.
looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. As soon as we're done breakfast, we're going to head over to explore one of the islands. I tied down the dinghy and the motor before we left, and it made it. Spider Boy strikes again. Fried beans, um, leftover corn and honey maple sausage, garlic, onions, mushrooms. And we're gonna put it in a wrap. Looks like dog food, but it tastes delicious. Alpo, alpo, tastes great. Wish we had some, can't wait. With the dinghy and engine super tied down to the deck, we decide to make it a future us problem and swim over to the islands and wait to drop the dinghy once we get back. The island looked close, but with no fins and swimming against the current, it feels like a mile away. Woohoo! Came from. Ugh. It's been a long time since we've swam without fins. It's a lot more tiring. Oh, we made it. Can you hold my hand and help me? Our first time setting foot in the sandblast. So nice. Wow. This island looks amazing, like something out of a dream. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. It feels like we've been living in a dream ever since we first set sail, and getting to go to places like this makes us have no desire to wake up. We could see ourselves living on an island like this somewhere in the tropics, maybe as a home base for our future sailboat, with a little dive resort and a few bungalows. You're gonna rub all your tan off. No. I was having a sand bath. Ha! Look at it! Justin! Oh my gosh. Look at my little friend! Go, go, gadget, Hermie. Do you want to play with my little friend? No, it's okay. Your shell's green. Yeah, isn't that cool? <gasps> Is that how you treat your friends? He's my friend. I call him Joseph. Yup, this is paradise. And to think, there are tons of islands here in the sandblast, just like this one. Okay, so we just swam over to this little island. And it's pretty awesome. There's tons of palm trees full of coconuts. It's really nice. It's a pretty small island. I'd say it's about 200 meters long. So we walked around it pretty fast. Lots of nice white sand and trees leaning right over the water. And there's a little hut, I guess, at the end. And it's where the Gunialis family lives and they sell bolas. bolas, which are kind of like little quilt squares. Yeah. And bracelets and pop and bread also. They make bread every day. You buy four little loaves for a dollar. Super nice island though. It's really nice.
finished up at the island and we're gonna head back and uh, get some water to drink because it's awfully thirsty over here. Yeah, drink salt water. Nope. With so many more islands to explore, we swim back to the boat. The next time, we are certainly going to take the dinghy. It should take us less than an hour to untie it, drop it in the water, then get the motor and fuel tank back in it. We're about halfway there. About halfway. It sure is easier swimming back with the current. All right. All right, we just got the dinghy down and the engine going. So Justin and I are gonna head over to a new island and we're bringing some survey sauce. Yum, yum. <laughs> So we just dang to this cute little island we found and uh, got a little cooler full of beer and we're gonna walk down the beach and drink some. The very, very big beach because this is the entire island. It's so cute! What an amazing day it's been here in the San Blas Islands. We explored two different islands that were completely different. One was about 800 feet long with tons of palm trees and lots of sand. The second one had about 13 palm trees and has a bunch of garbage on it, but it's still lovely. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. You can help keep the adventure going by supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash djsdives. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and leave a comment below to tell us what you think. Give us a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends. See, See you, you next week. week.